Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Up to him. And Nikki. <laughs> uh, the other half of FLX makes another guest appearance. How lovely it is. A lot what better is looking than Mike. Ooh. So Dan, what are we drinking? <laughs> you sound so like Vanna White. So, uh... We have a, yet again another treasure from the treasure trove of fruited sours that Nikki hoards away. And this is from the 450 North Brewing Company. And 450 North is out of Columbus, Indiana. So this is their Durban Poison. So as you can see, there's like little marijuana leaves and all those sorts of fruits and stuff. So this was a 420 release, released on April 1st. How many months old? That's about seven months old. Yeah. Better late than never. Uh, so smoothie style sour ale with raspberry, blueberry, pineapple, and coconut. Uh, coming in at a whopping 5.3 ABV. Okay. So yeah, let's let's hop into this. We should be okay. These beers kind of last or whatever. Yep. I um, store them, like you say, you know, upside down and, you know, just tucked away. First mistake, listening to anything I say. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, it still looks tasty. Yeah. It hasn't turned doo-doo brown yet. Nope. I'm like, no, uh, major oxidation. That's good. Jeez. Oh. Oh, right. well, you got all the... Yeah. I got the thick stuff. Yeah, um, let's do this. A little switchy swirly. Yeah. Oops. Oh, well. You know, that's the name of the game. It is. The name of the game is to mix it all up and make a mess. Yep. For Mike to clean up. <laughs> oh yeah all right all right there you go babe yay all right so let's hold up the camera see what we're seeing well uh you add a little more head there because of the mixing process right? yeah but there's still a pretty substantial amount of head uh look at all the pectin on the side of the glass there's all the fruits oh, in yeah. the world uh yeah. so it's like how would you describe it? It's like a maroon. Yeah, maroon. <laughs> yeah. Pinky maroon. That's it. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it's like, um, I don't know. It's like purple, but maroon. I don't know. There's something it reminds me of. I'll get back to it's you. It's a pretty fall color. Yeah. It is a kind of nice fall color, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that head's just sticking around. Mine's, mine's disappearing. Yeah. It's okay. Get a whiff. Oh, I smell coconut. <laughs> there pineapple you go. There's your coconut. Pineapple. Pineapple comes first. Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple, then the coconut. And then, well, berries. Then the berries. Berries. I'm like. I don't know if I could say. I, know, I think I, the pineapple really hit me first, I think. Ooh. Oh, my God. So that's Oops. like dull with pineapple. Yeah, it is. Like, that's like. The jar, the canned uh, pineapple rings. Yep. It, like with the semi syrup in it. Mm hmm. And then you just threw a dollop of like coconut on there. Like coconut cream. Mm -hmm. Like a pineapple coconut cream upside down cake or some shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it is totally taken away from the berry though, right? Yeah. I mean, the berry's there, but. It's there, but yeah. no. It definitely overpowers. It smells good. Seven right. months old? Yeah. Um, Can we taste it yet? <laughs> sure. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, gang. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I taste more berry than I thought I would taste pineapple. It's actually more balanced than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. It's not like... Super sickly sweet, like candied, all that. Yeah, it's like the fresh because you you're like, getting a little that that bitter kind of green pithy back end that you get on pineapple. Because you know, on pineapple, you get that citrus kind of mm -hmm. good. No, no, I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm just like, I'm taking it back. I mean, that's nice though. Different expectation, totally. So mouthfeel, five point three. I mean, it's definitely smoothie mouthfeel. Well, like, not super thick. I'm like, well. Oh, I get that blueberry. That blueberry yeah. in the back end. 
it's just I, it's completely kind of backwards than what I was expecting. But I mean, are you I mean ha- it's delicious. I'm like, like I feel like I could drink this and like not get like sick of it. Yeah, because that's myself th- because it's actual like real fruit tasting, not you know. Yeah. Sickly sweet fruit tasting. That's like you know, gonna like fill you up and make you feel eh. It's kind of layered and a bit complex too, to be honest. Like when I say complex, mm-hmm. like. How many of these have you had where it's just like, sure, there it is, there it is, but that's it. Like, that real kind of citrus, on the back end, I just really, I love the fact that I'm getting, a like, some bitterness on the back end. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, real fruit. Um, coconut, it's there. Very subtle. Like. Tale of two halves this is. A tale of two halves. Mm. The first half. Pineapple and coconut for days. Mm-hmm. Second half, boom, here's the berries. Brown chicken, brown cow. <sighs> Crazy. I just don't uh, Crazy expectations. Question, before we rate this. We live close to Mortalis. Mm-hmm. We can get Mortalis whenever we want. We can get... Froth brewing, their bath bombs, stuff like that. Although those get kind of sickly sweet. Got one in the fridge. Not that Mortaluses don't, but typical Mortalis. If you're not buying it as a single, twenty five bucks, four pack. Yes. So, mm, what six, six bucks a can? Give yeah. or take six fifty a can. Um, this was seven fifty for a can. Do you mm-hmm. think it's worth it? Uh, we got this at Branching Out Bottle Shop in Syracuse. Coming back from the zoo, by the way. I like testing things. So I would say yes. I would spend it 100% to try it. Would I buy a four-pack necessarily? Hmm. I'm a Mortalis girl. We all know this. Um, so... I'd be like Mortalis all day. They're my peeps. Okay. I mean, so, okay. I enjoy this. Would though. you buy a four pack at seven fifty a can? That's no. I bu- I would want a little less. You're looking at like thirty five bucks for four. Pack. No, I I think twenty five is like as much yeah. as I would want to pay. Yeah. Um. But I'm like these are individually priced and they're a little higher because they are broken down into you know singles. So, um. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll wait for my more talents. Okay, I'm biased, though. This is very nice. I do like that fresh pineapple taste to it, though. It, like, it's fresh. It's like pineapple juice. Mm. Yeah. It does. It does have that. I feel like I literally just, yeah, drank, mixed, <laughs> made my own smoothie by blending says, all these things it says, together. store cold, drink fresh, due to the large amount of fruit in this beer. Yeah, we're about seven months. Still and it's great. still. I remember a time living up to the expectations. I remember when Mortalis first came out. These first came out, and they they couldn't nail down how to freaking can this stuff, and they would explode in people's fridges. Oh, the 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 terrible. Uh, oh god! Like the crawlers of Mortalis bloodbath. Yeah, yeah, literally pouring out of the <laughs> refrigerators. That's kind of pretty funny. Yeah, but then they got it down. So. Yeah. Uh, what do you rate it? I would go with 4.25. Honestly, I, I'm i higher than know. you. I'm like... I'd give it a 4.4. Four. It reminds me of Dole Whip. Yeah. I'm like... that Dole Whip with extra stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I probably could rate it higher, but I'm like, you know... Like, it kind of stinks because you were kind of like going into this thinking... Dan's not going to like it, and I'll just get both glasses. I'll, yep, I'll, it'll all be mine. Mm-hmm. Guess that's just the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. But delicious. I'm like, I'm glad I spent the $7.50 to get this. Yeah. Um, yeah, branching out bottle shop. Check them out. out in Syracuse. Technically, I think it's Camillus, but Syracuse, mm. whatever. Well, we should we should probably go back there. Yeah, we could. We since could. since our bottle shop is closed. Yeah, rest in peace, AJ's. Yep. We'll Sucks. miss you. 
Um, we got a couple places, but one of them doesn't even sell singles, and that's really a drag. Yeah. He's got like four of everything. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. Uh, so, this was fun. We're going to go watch Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson now, I think. Hopefully, it hasn't started. It probably has. Yep. We should um, probably do that. But you know what? The brand over everything. That's why we're here. Nikki stepped in. Mike's letting the channel die. Guess who's still here repping it? Just for you guys at home. Dan and the other half of FLX. <laughs> Damn straight. All right, gang. Until next time. Cheers. Enjoy.